to be prepared. Not prepared. Not I ready forgot for about the tape and I jumped up and everything just... It's everyone. time. It's time, James. It's hello. time. Hello, everyone. Good evening. It's time for NA Counter-Strike here for the Face It League. And, of course, we do have Brain Dead versus Nylon. I know how do this brain, these Brain Dead people. They qualified in our open qualifiers. For those of you who are unfamiliar, during um, the live stages of our league, every week we have qualifiers for the next stage in every region. So I think there were eight qualifiers that people could have entered, North American teams. Brain Dead are one of the teams who qualified in one of those weekly qualifiers. So they are having their test against Nylon. They are comprised of Save, Lime, Doan, Welcome to, and Creek. We have some, we have some maps, actually, as well. But should we look at the lineup? You say they comprise. They're comprised of. No, you don't say comprise of. You say comprise. There's no ob after comprise. You just say they comprise, and then you explain the rest of it. Comprise is like what? Like comprise what? of is not correct English. Are you, are you sure? 100%. There's a moral victory there. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm it's 100% true. It's 100% true. Because I don't trust you, because you say stuff that's wrong too sometimes, James. You would say brain dead comprise. And I politely don't correct you. Well, you should. Some, well, I, would, I, want, I, I want you to correct me. I want to be correct. I don't want to be incorrect. Okay. I don't want to be false. I don't want to be a fraud, Dan. I'd rather just let you go out there and just speak atrocities. Anyway, Nylim is comprised of Zenfist, Valence, Sanks, Haker, and Automated That's literally the worst magic. English I've ever heard you speak. Like, you didn't think that uh, like if I said James and me um, was correct either. I haven't. I, have, I need firm evidence of this. You need to just look it up Let's on see. Google. Correct. But yes, guys, we've got the knife round here. Uh, Nylon versus yeah. Brain Dead. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the, look at the names of Brain Dead. One of them is called DDK. <laughs> One of them is called Got the Brains and Aim. One of them is called Got the Aim but No Brain. How are we supposed to commentate this, Dan? We'll find a way. Where are our admins with proper names? Uh, Cash, Inferno, Mirage will be the three maps. This is the only best of three we have for North America, though, tonight, it would seem. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not playing this game at the moment. I hope for their sake you're not. We lost 16-14 on Face It just yeah, before we went live. But I, I had because I was I like, had, Dan, but I have 30, Dan. I have 30 frags, James. I said, Dan, there are two How A's. How many frags did you have, James? There are two. I didn't think I had 10 frags. That's not the point. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the point. I had a bad day. But the point is, Dan, I was like, Dan, there are two on A, Dan. Let's go to B. Dan, was, Dan ignores me. I was stuck in connector. You didn't even respond. I was stuck in connector. You just stood there. You were supposed to go to jungle. Yeah, but I couldn't because of Norpa. He's Mate, shooting at me. I would have got to jungle. And he I killed me later. when I was trying to do that. So there was no communication. You didn't reply to me. You just left me to run in there solitary. Because you got to know I, when you got to take. And then I got ops as well. You got to know when you got to take the reins. All right. So the match has begun. Brain Dead going to start on the CT side. My I'm starting on the uh, less favourable <laughs> T side. Well, this is novel. Well, Brain Dead going for a three-man push. Straight away, DD DDK is going huge on the B bomb site. Guys, this guy's a fake, James. I'm pretty sure. Can't even get a kill. Well, well, there was that, Dan. He, he couldn't even get a kill. So where are you on the leaderboard right now? This is a grievous mistake. You're zero, zero, and zero. You, you just basically they left you in your tricycle to to cycle around the map this, while they kill people. This is a grievous misrepresentation of me. Literally, how do we commentate this match if they do anything? Well, we'll, we'll find out. For now, we have uh, Nylum going for the force. But he doesn't have even they must be air, James. They must be offended after the savagery of that round. And Braindead looking solid at the moment. Nice hold there in uh, mid. He's going to have Sank peeking from the boost, but he's going to fall as well. So far, so good for Braindead. Okay. I think Doan and Welcome to are the only guys who actually have proper names. So, yeah. Anyway, it's going to be automatic, 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 automatic. It's such a, a difficult one to say, actually, I must say, James. Automatic. Automatic. It's not, it's not that difficult. Automatic. He'll be making his, his way in there. Ooh, they're going for the, the plot. I like that. Yeah, it's very good. You can defend that from the We don't have anyone there, but it is actually going to be a two-on-two -two now, as Don is going to come in, and uh, they're going to try to wrap their way around. Just smoking off the core there, but it's actually a player on the boost barrel. That's it. Well played there, and he's gonna go for the high. Just stay here, be safe. Force the player to push in, and he's gonna try to actually <laughs> do the fake flash with the pistol. I it's swear that work never out. works. It, yeah, it almost never works. Just never works. Who was the player that it worked on famously? 
in CSS. That was that one clip. I think it was on AVA bombsite on Dust 2. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, it almost never works. But it's uh, it's a good good effort. So yep, we yep. have um, Club Mine Refugees, Hiko and Semphis. Well, they're back together again on the Nylum side. More aggression here from Bain Dead toward the B bomb side. They've lost the second round. And they are looking for sweet revenge here. We've got two of the players with armor. There were trades coming in, but now they're just all going the way of Nylum. Only uh, got brains and aim remaining. Calling for the pause. Maybe it's a tactical one, Dan. Look at that avatar as well. I, I disagree. We've surmised that there are no tactical pauses online, James. That's what we, uh, we've, we've been through this earlier. I know. Online, there are... Look at that DDK I mean, bottom oh, fragging. And they can't be pausing to fix their names, surely. You, you, you know yeah, you have you to open the Steam Friends thing to do it, right? It's a pain in the butt compared to old CS games where you just go console name XYZ. I guess they wanted to fix it at once. Maybe the admins are coming down hard on them. But it's like... Uh, the troll is real. The but that's his real. avatar as well. I don't know. Well, they definitely just literally paused. Unpaused. Paused. Paused. Don't know the I don't know what's going on right now. I'm confused. <laughs> You're a pillock. Okay, Nylum. Two of the three rounds. See if Brain Dead can uh, get any more anytime soon. Going to be another eco now. P250s, five sevens, nades, two flashes. And this time the aggression, the flying V, going to be going in towards A. And there it is. They are going to pick up the first kill into Sanks as uh, automatic. It's going to make its way through the door to get some damage done, but there's a lot of players to face here. Semphis will combine forces, create a crossfire into the A bomb site with Nylum's automatic. Here comes Hiko as well. And uh, just don't left over in this uh, saving situation. So uh, Brain Dead actually, you know, in a really awkward spot when it comes to the money at this point. There's not even starting to build up a lot of awesome cash. And we'll have to see if, uh, if Brain Dead will be able to do anything on this buy, because we haven't yet, because of course, if you look at this lineup, right, you've got Semphis, who is a guy that's got loads of experience. Obviously, uh, also Hiko as well, both you know coming from Cloud9 uh, not, not too, too long ago, some months ago. And it's, it, he's a Semphis is a really smart player. And I think, I think, um, Semphis and Sean Gez on the same team does provide a lot of back, and, grills. back and forth that maybe is best separated to two teams. Because I think Semphis has the makings of a potentially like a really good leader. Of course, I've never been led under him, so I can't say that for sure. But you know, when you listen to him speak about the game, he's got a really good approach. And the way that he talks about stuff is, is a definitely, I think, lends itself to some good IGL skill sets. Thanks, so thanks sounds like thanks, but with a lisp. Thanks. Th thanks for that. Thanks, I mean, Either thanks way, for that. Either way, what I want to see is what kinds of strategies we'll have from Nylon. Because Semphis has all that uh, experience of the European meta as well. So he might be a little bit ahead here in some regards. Okay, so that's a smoke we're seeing consistently across Europe and America now, where people uh, run up into upper B, bounce it off the wall to smoke off B pretty early on. We saw a match on Cash earlier where people weren't doing that and they were getting picked super fast. But for now, we have sensible play here from Brain Dead. Gonna keep B closed off for now. So he up to his usual tricks, just playing the lurk there, trying to get some damage done. And what is he doing? Wow, he's he's being really stubborn there, just not wanting to move out of the vent. He must have. Fire. I can only imagine that he thought someone was waiting for him to jump out from the uh, B area, which is why he tried to delay at the cost of some HP. The picking opportunities here for Nylon have gone a bit sour as he's gone down two players already, losing Semphis and Sanks. Now. Eco, Automatic, and Balance remain. Very explosive players as they try to make the entries happen here. Now, Eco's going to try to make his way surely to the mid area to see if he can, can actually help out here because they're actually trying to try to get onto the bomb site. We so get a bit of a trade situation coming here. Great stuff there from Balance. He'll be able to get the bomb planted as well. And if Eco can get in position in time, this is round on for Myelin. Okay, so two people coming from the car area. That is going to be good work, boys, and don't 7x. Oh, that is... I don't even know what to say. 1v1 situation, only 5 HP for Welcome To. He's got nothing to distract Hiko with. Just needs to go for the solid defuse. 10 second defuse as well. Hiko is slowly emerging, but the inevitable happens. That's really unlucky for Braindead that they lined up there and uh, kind of handed 
those two frags to Nylam. Very unlucky indeed. He's going to put them on an eco or a well, more uh, situation at the very least. Uh, by the way, good work, boys, is, is Creek. You can refer to him as Creek. Creek? Creek. Okay. Indeed. Alright, so back onto the safe here. Good round, safe by uh, Valence there. Getting that 4k and creating a very awkward ag uh, situation again on the economy for brain dead. Who's uh, it made in there actually? Hiko trying to clear out some of those uh, high range spots, but welcome to. Goes undiscovered until the frag onto Semphis up mid. If Semphis was actually alone, so there's no trade, he's going to pick up the weapon for free. And uh, does Semphis actually not have a weapon? Interesting. Nice snap there by Lime, just holding down the site for now. Got Welcome to, he knows there's a play there, which means the teammate will know as well. Oh, he's just taken the side of Sanks' head off. But it's him versus two now, and the bomb is headed towards B. He could, no, he's not going to get the angle on the site before they cross. So that's going to be a confirmation as to what's going on. The pop flash coming in as well. Is he going to walk straight through the smoke? I think he's going to do exactly that. And the uh, teaser spreading out. So let's see if he can take down the bomb planter. Indeed, he's going to get a very quick frag indeed. Now he's got to find the last player, Valenz. He needs to identify where he is. He doesn't have a kit, so he pretty much needs to find a frag here. Trying to uh, pre-fire no scope, but aiming in the wrong direction. Valenz is going to take the round and the AWP. Indeed, 5-1 to one now, Nylon looking pretty strong, and they've got lots of economy going for them as well. So Braindead can get the AWP rolling in, and I'm not sure actually who is the, if, you know, who is the dedicated AWP, I guess it's going to be welcome to, he's going to pick that one up. He's already actually got 10 frags, so he's leading the way when it comes to the, the kills on his team, and uh, what do we have here from Nylon? No, sorry, mid challenge there from Valens, he's going to go up against welcome to his AWP, will not win that exchange. And Semphis perhaps looking for a pick into a main, a main, main area. I wonder if that, that was a CT smoke, I think, over A main. So I don't think Semphis can go for the lockers picks that we see from Kenny S all the time. Um, but they are actually moving in here. And it automatic, automatic, automatic. Just say automatic, Dan. Automatic. It's so auto Automatic. Automatic. He is going to be opening the door there, looking for the picks now. And they are going to be moving their way in there. Smoke for the short and toxic barrels position. As Automatic goes in through the door, gets nailed by Lime. And things need to happen here for Nylon. They just lost a couple players here for nothing. Where is the investment going? So far, nowhere. So only Hiko remains now for Nylon. He's got the bomb. No stranger to clutch, but you can see the angles being held by the brain dead team. Orb shot's going to be missed, and he's going to go for the plant here. It would make sense, but he wants to even up the numbers. Going to change his plant position, <laughs> and there's been a team, a team kill. Nades come in, so all of a sudden it's welcome to versus Hiko. He's going to find the right angle and salvage the round for his team at what cost? Looking for the AWP, not going to find it, and he threw his gun away as well. So, <laughs> a less than a stellar situation there. What? He threw the gun away? He, he, he threw his gun away he to run. He threw his AWP away. He, no, he threw the rifle away to oh. run over the AWP, but then couldn't find the AWP, oh and now he has to buy again. Oh, my God. My limit with lots of blue knives. Congratulations with, to you. With that team kill and then the, loser, the, the lost gun there, that is the most atrocious <laughs> clutch ever. All right, we got Sebbis opening things up with a Wandy. Doesn't get the second flick as Dome will uh, eliminate him and back to the bomb site. So we've got uh, nine players all over the shop, not with all that much in the way of money. Um, so they just have some pistols, only Hiko with a AK-47 in his hands. But they are three on four, so they might be able to scrap something together here. We're going to have the push coming in towards B storage into that B bomb site. But so the push from Lime is coming around for Bra Brain Dead. They've got all the info. Now, will he be able to catch this guy off guard? Sanks has no idea. Get the knife. Let's do it. Only Hiko and Valenz remain, only Hiko with the AK versus four plays now. And they are lacking map control to say the very least. That said, they've got control of the bomb site again. Valenz carrying the bomb, but he wants to try and even up the numbers if he can before going for the bomb plant here. He's going to push the smoke with the bomb. I really think he should go for the plant here. You can see Hiko in the uh, outside area for the tease. Waiting for the players to come in from Vents but also to spawn. He's covering two angles at once, leaving Valens for that close quarters battle with the uh, Tech 9. But he's going to get naded into oblivion, and now Hiko is the one on the outside. 
trying to find his way in. There's one tap for him. Got two more to find. There's a second one. And Lime's oh. going to just about salvage it with the P2000 of all things. Has he got enough time? He's got enough time. Yeah, he goes pretty dangerous. And that amount of damage combined with the bomb plant, combined with the amount of rounds that they lost in the row now, it, which is actually going to be two. So it's 1900 plus the 800. It's going to have them just within the spot where they should buy here every time because they kill four players. They have the economy against the ropes for Brain Dead. Their ability to get the bomb plant again or do a lot of damage, and you know, it's, it's, it's so strong at the moment that even if they lose, eventually the War of Attrition will, will so, you know, put, put them ahead because of the round loss bonus and the bombs going down and so on and so forth. So, can they get a play into a main quickly here from Nylin? Will they be able to pick up anything from this, though? That is not a good grenade, but it's Bikoi, so who cares? Automatic, look how much confidence he has. He's just running around, making his presence known, he doesn't give a damn. See Nylem or a team uh, who obviously are expecting to dominate Brain Dead. And again, five rounds on the board so far. Still have the lead on the C side. Should be looking forward to a good CT side, but first they need to uh, finish the first half. Trades, well, no trades coming in actually, because no Brain Dead players are on the uh, walk just yet. That spray I'm going to finish for Lens through the smoke. So another round on the board for Brain Dead. Going to be good for their economy as well to survive without losing any players. You can see it's less than Stella at the moment. So thing is though is that in a round like that, the, it surprises me that they don't basically combine their forces to get some kind of execute together. They who? Because uh, Nylon. Because they, you know, they, they, they need to if they're in a position where if they just play together, get the trades, that's the job done. That's what you want to try to get. Just get some damage in there. But we're going to get the proactive play here. Stays can spot the entire lineup. And that's going to allow the rotate easily here. But can they get ahead of this push? And that which now speeds into the bomb site. The bomb is going to go down shortly here. They're going to try to plant in the smoke. Now, do they hear this? Because they might be able to spray it down. But no, they won't. So that plant is going to be there in the open. The Nylem now to defend. You can see Sanks in A main at the moment. It's going to be nobody going for a uh, biggest rotation NA. And they're just going to charge through the smoke with the Tech Nines. Down to one versus one now. Welcome to. Does have a kit. Needs to find Valenz. Got his pistol out. Expended all his bullets. Valenz with 38 HP. This is anyone now. <laughs> but it's going to be Valenz faking a flashbang with a primary rifle. With a Thanos. And gets the frag with the Tech Nine. So six to four to Nylum. And that money from the second previous round. Might come in handy here for Brain Dead. You know, one thing that's, that's actually funny is it may it may actually have been that he also some players play with auto pickup for some reason, right? Maybe he's thrown it out there an empty Famas to be picked up for an embarrassing situation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some players actually play with auto pickup though. I cannot believe it. Though. So Brain Dead, very much uh, lacking grenades at the moment, and they're pretty much expending all of them. Fair few smokes still in the bag, but. Uh, an important duel to win, and they're pretty much clearing out the map with ruthless aggression going through the uh, squeaky door as well and coming back. So, Milam getting tagged down, only sent Fist of Peasant and Hiko remaining. His own word, not mine. You can see that it says Peasant there. Mm. Reminds me of the moment when uh, we had aspersions cast towards Sean Gez in a, in a match. Do you, do you remember this, James? Yes, that was quite amusing indeed. We have a lot of fun with Sean Grills, but it's not Cloud9, it's Nylum. And it's all left down to the clutch master, Hiko. We already saw a, a very calm and considered almost three case to save the bomb defuse situation previously. Now he's in a, an even harder spot. There's no bomb down, he needs to get it planted. And there's four players to kill, and he will not be able to take down the first one. Save will win the round for Brain Dead, and Nylum are up against it now. They don't have any money to play with. Braindead's in a similar situation, but well, fortunately for them, this could be the round for them to build some serious bank. We've got the, uh, the Tech 9 armor. They're going to go for the full nades as well. So this, we need to see the execution from Nylum. And it looks like they're going to be going for that. It looks like it's going to be a telegraphed execution as well. We're going to have all the nades thr uh, thrown from the back. And uh, you just have these Tech 9s. It can make life a little bit more difficult because it will allow Braindead to set up. And we get the uh, rotation from the AWPA from short. The fourth player is coming over as well. They'll leave one on B, and it should be a solid hold here for Brain Dead. Okay, so Lyman in an aggressive position. It's going to allow himself to take down Sanks. The trade coming in this time from Automatic. Let's see if they go for the same plant or a different one. We have save on the site, but the trade's again, and that's going to give the uh, T's an M4 as well. No flood just yet. 
And uh, more, even more trades coming in. Two versus two now. Action happening pretty fast here on the A site. Automatic versus good work, boys. Just need to tap automatic once. Automatic with the M4 as well. And Three. just about he's going to take it. What's his name again? Creek. Creek. Oh, it's actually good work, Producer, he says you're talking nonsense. Oh, well, I, I got this from the HLTV, HLTV lineup, so. Sorry, guys. His actual name is good work. GWB. George Washington Bush. Got W in the house. Is that what W is for? Who knows? Who cares? Got a long line of CTs cutting the map in half. Nylam back on the pistol round. And I feel like I feel like there's a lack of respect to their opponent at the moment. And I'm curious to see um, how things will continue once it's Nylam CT half. Because at the moment, I think they're just kind of yellowing. You know, it's best of three. They can, they can uh, play fast and loose and see where it takes them. They've got half the rounds in the bag, however. And um, they're probably expecting themselves to have a, uh, a solid CT on the side. So this may work out well for them. Semphis has breached the lines of the rich. And the peasant is killing the counter terrorists. Revenge has been found by line. Killing all the aristocrats. We are going to see uh, Alan's making his way in now, but this should be pretty easy here for Brainer to clean this one up. But Alan's gets an instant bink with the PG-50, just launching himself over the crate. Parkour maneuvers as he uh, is not going to be able to get the bomb down. It is, in fact, going to be on the ground now, thanks to Lime. Nice. Good nade there from Valence. Play the, uh, the play situation, but he won't get the fast frag. And 7-6 is now the score. Nihilim looking like they need to get some more organization in some of these rounds um, at the moment. Don only the Don um, I think Don is an Asian last name actually. Like an Oriental last name. But I don't know anything about this particular person. Moving swiftly on there. We have a lot of nylon players heading towards the B bomb site where there can only there is only one CT to be found at the moment. And that is uh, Mr. Goodwork Boys, and he's going to be up against it with four people while uh, Automatic's going to try and hold a CT rotation through mid into the vents. Let's see what Don can do. Nothing at all. It's going to be taken out by multiple guns here. Zemphis with an assist from Tank. And this looks like the second last round is going the way of Nylon. Solid B take with nobody lost at all. Save and Lime forced to save. They're just, uh, just walking in there. No, no mid takes here. Just simple straightforward and that's going to give them confidence so you may see similar plays in the near future now we have some sneaking around from lime and save as they try to save the weapons play for some exits but now i'm looking to get that 8-7 on the board here as they will move to tie things up here in the first half now i have no idea what to expect from their CC side it's of course I mean, Brain did a, a team that uh, we haven't seen before. They qualified through. Nine of a team that just added Semphis and Hiko not so long ago. So it's pretty much a new team still as well. So it's, it's hard to really have any expectations. We can only uh, watch and observe and make notes. I sincerely hope that uh, Brain did have some nice T executes. Because I want to see if Nylum can defend. It's last round of the first half here. We're going to have Semphis on the orc. Good work, boys. Reduced to the 5-7. We'll see if he can pick something up later on. This time, there's a significant presence from Nylam over towards the A site. That's going to be the opening frag here. Onto line from Zemphis. And here comes a push from the T's. Catching save unawares. And it's already a 3 versus 5. Welcome 2 going to try and even things up very quickly. Wow. Indeed, three super fast frags here for Welcome 2. Giving them a man advantage. And they are almost all over towards the B bomb site. A bomb site, excuse me. Zemphis, no fear. Going to find the frag through the smoke. Heavily tagged now, but they know where Doan is, and he may well just hold an angle while Hiko maneuvers the bomb. Very nice snap there to go past the crosshair of Semphis and get himself a 1v1 situation. Yeah, it's a nice trade attempt from Hiko, but he does not actually make it happen this time. Going to just go for the bomb, the bomb plant finally and play the clock against Doan. He isn't forced to go in for the defuse now. Forced to move out of his position. 
That's a nice, that's a really well placed contact. Here, but oh my goodness, cannot get it done through the kind of the flames there on the screen. Don't gets the kill. 16 HP, and that's actually. He's going to pick up weapons in the last round. Yeah, oh, the kit. Okay. That's a pretty, pretty crazy uh, one on one that he won there. I would have expected he could have been able to pull that one off. Um, but it's going to be. Eight to seven, brain dead going ahead here in the first half on their CT side. But as you said, it's really going to be down to how well they can pull off these T rounds because that tends to be the harder side of things, especially if you're a newer team. Now, I'd, we don't have much information on brain dead. They could have been together for quite some time. Um, if they are a newer team, if they're playing more of a mixy style, I, I fear that uh, Nylon would uh, eat that alive with just strong, strong team play, strong basics, and strong aim. One of the pluses about the way we run our qualifiers, again, they're, they're being every week, is that Braindead have had a lot of time to prepare for the close qualifier, knowing that they're going to be up against stronger teams. So hopefully they've put that time into practice. And we will see what they have to offer on their T side. They won the first pistol. If they can win the second, then they may be in with a good chance of taking the first map. Again, Nylon will be coming into this with complete confidence. But first, they must win the pistol. It's, it's more or less an A retake here, just one man towards A, good quick rotations towards B. Although, at the moment, at the moment Braindead are playing very, very slowly, looking for maybe a delayed mid take. They have the uh, few players boosted up, they're going to go over the top all at once. Now, if you can get a fast frag with Sanks, and it's going to be really nice. Sanks picks up one. Now, if they can keep slowing the roll here of these keys. Oh no! Save! Gonna take down Doan, the back of the head. Gonna have the B take coming in though, the desperation play, the last ditch attempt to make this round go the way of the T's. They've left the bomb behind and the bomb is being swarmed like bees to a beehive. And uh, Nylon trying all the tricky angles here. So he go in a position where he would see the legs depending on their approach. And they are not gonna be pre-aiming that position. And look how fast Brat they are. They have a player in uh, T-Spawn as well, so this should be somewhat of an impossible mission for the remaining T's. Thanks for getting another frag. Good, good, good work boys getting one, but his position has been revealed. And this is impossible now. He's got to find the frags because the bomb is in the boost position, so he couldn't get it anyway. And he will fall. Thanks for getting a three-man. A four-man, excuse me. Oh, headshots. So yeah, it's going to be the uh, pistol armor buy up here from Braindead. As you need to do, double, do, uh, do, do, uh, do a double eco anyway. Do a, do a, do a, do a. Ah, bada, bada. Do a, do a female do. Where's our heart? Okay, Nylon got the uh, the SMGs here. We're gonna get a, just a straight up. Conga line. Rush B, no stop. Conga line with guns, Dan. Matchmaking strats. Through and through. That B bomb site. And indeed, no one is stopping. They are true. They are true. We have a. Uh, take here and this will make it uh, work quite nicely as the Tech Nines are really putting in the work. They've picked up an MP7, some more uh, guns to be acquired as well. And Hiko and Tempest need to save this with a 5.7 and a FAMAS and no nades left now. And they all have armor, so this is a ridiculous situation for Nylon. This is really tough. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Do they give up the rifles and uh, go for the push or just play for exits? There's no kit, so they don't, they don't really have a choice. They can't win the round now. They can only win the... Uh, economy. There's one frag coming in. Getting a second frag. There are three frags, but again, there's no kit. Looks like they just want to ruin the economy of their opponents at the cost of ruining ruining, it for, ruining it for themselves, Dan. I'm tongue-tied now. And brain dead. Take a nice lead. I have a question for you, Dan. No. Okay. What? What is it? Chat roulette or strat roulette? What? what, what? Chat roulette or strat roulette? What if I was to choose between? Just never mind. No. I don't understand your okay. question. Okay, people tweet me. Chat roulette or strat roulette? One or the other. Let me know. In the meantime, I will educate Dan on I these choices. I know what they are both well, you are. Can, you can find out about chat roulette yourself because I'm scared. But uh, I know, strat I know roulette. What they're both far, but. Strat roulette. You can look on the, the old Reddit, you know. Lots of strat roulette posts on there recently. Anyway, it's, it was a good deal of damage done by Nylam, and they want to uh, compound that. They've actually picked up the 5.7s and the armors, even a scout in Symphysis case. So looking to get the damage really done here. And if they can capitalize on any errors for brain dead, then they certainly could have a surprising result here. But they've 
Invested in a heavy defense towards A. They've got a push coming in towards B storage. We'll give them a lot of information, but there's just Lime. He's going to pick up the kill, and that's going to eliminate the information because there could be more players behind this. They are going to go for the B split as well. This is rough now for Nylon. Yeah, it's really important they start to move fast because they're running out of time to clear the site. Fortunately, they've got the numbers game going on towards B bomb site, but there we go. The clearance has been made. We've seen a lot of situations where people have waited too long. Oh, these Nylon aimers are causing serious problems for Brain Dead. This is not going to be easy for them. They have a one-man advantage. Chico's picked up an echo that's very dangerous indeed. He's got the full armor, as does Zemphis. Zemphis coming in from the vents where save can be found. Save is looking towards the vents at the moment. Chico finds a frag. So does Zemphis with a 5-7. And now it's good work, boys, to try and clutch it versus the remaining two players. Chico goes down. Zemphis with only a few HP to uh, contest with. He will be eliminated as well. And that's another key round here for Brain Dead. But if you look at their money once more, Good work boys has to throw his AK and buy a new one. Well he doesn't have to I guess, but he has the most money after you know surviving there. Everyone else died. And Nylon when eventually they can actually uh, field the buy, they're gonna be that much closer to forcing the eco out of Brain Dead. So keeping the uh, the economic pressure in there. However, Brain Dead are two rounds in the lead at the moment. So it you know, playing the economy or not, it all comes down to actually winning the rounds at the end of the day. So so far so good for Brain Dead. Let's we'll see if they can uh, play well against this stack. Yeah, speaking of the stack, we've got a four-man stack on the A bomb site. Again, Brain Dead playing passively, keeping most of their members together with uh, two people just watching for flanks, keeping the options open. You can see how sneaky Nylam are being over towards the A site. Valen's just holding the slitherist, slitherist? A, s a slither of an angle <laughs> towards B to get the information for his team and try to stay alive. So, Brain Dead are walking into the stack. 45 seconds on the clock. There's still enough time for them to try and clean things out here. All Nylam have is a smoke. There are no flashes for them to get any sneaky uh, work done. That's a very nice uh, line of sight. Two players to stop the frag coming in there from the A site. So far, so good. But now they need to try and breach. Two of them are heavily tagged. Lime's got to go down as well. Good work, boys, and welcome to versus Valenz and Tanked. Just USPSs again for these two team members. But they do have very sharp aim indeed. So it's Valenz coming in from short versus 70 HP and 6 HP. Two to find. And that is not a nice position to die in. Okay. 11 to 8 now, Brain Deads. Looking pretty good. We've got uh, the full buy coming in from Nylon. And they really want to avoid the situation where they keep, you know, of course, just having to constantly eco and they can never get all the nades, can't get the orbs rolling in and stuff like that. And stuff like that is really, really painful. I'm pretty sure uh, Snuffers wants to get on that orb promptly. However, we'll see the. Uh, Single man play into B storage here. They're very common, uh, commonly done by the kind of lurker of the team. Just moving into that B storage, trying to get some picks done. And uh, I think the best example of that is Get Right. Sometimes he, he pulls out two frags there. It's very dangerous. You can do a lot from that position if you're a smart player as well, with good aim. And uh, just playing it defensively at the moment, because of course Nylon are in a spot where they might start to consider playing some aggressions early on in the round to get a quick advantage. Brain Dead want to be safe with safe against that, so they're just holding it down at the moment. And potentially looking at a delayed mid tape. We've got a guy over the boost at the moment, looking to clear some of these angles. Sanks is playing the white box and he's dropped down as well. Let's see if uh, anything can come of this. Yeah, this, this is the time for Brain Dead to show us if they have an execute. 45 seconds remaining, and there is absolutely no indication as to where they might be going but they have one player very far advanced into mid but he's not going to get the pick onto Sanks. the trade comes in from Doan that's going to be mid in control so that's going to cause a bit of a rotation from brain dead uh, sorry from uh, nylon you can see automatic moving it's not sure if it's going to be b or mid but it looks like it's going to be b after all we've got one player held on the site the lens 20 seconds remaining for Braindead to clear these two players on the side. They've got the crossfire, the bomb's on the floor as well. Braindead may have waited too long for this push. We've got the CTs rotating in, and there's only save remaining versus four. So this is pretty much been a complete failure for Braindead. Get a little bit more damage done. But uh, again, maybe waited too long to push the site there. Didn't have enough time to clear it and get the plant. Bomb carrier went down, and that's always a disaster in those situations. Yeah, now it's uh, giving more breathing room to Nylon, and they've created a situation where they can win this. Uh, if they win this, this uh, 
Running against the Tech 9s. Maybe get an AWP into play. Maybe you actually just stay on the rifles. I mean, that's actually coming into vogue a little bit, at least with uh, Virtus Pro. They've actually returned to that style. We, we went from the, the no rifles to the single AWP to double AWP setup being very prevalent, and then back to the one AWP, and then now Virtus Pro back on uh, a full rifle setup as their main default setup most of the time. Sometimes Neo picks up the AWP for B, but it's very, very viable is the point here. And it's we need to s say very quickly, Nylam started with two people in B bomb site, and they've just left one, and he's running around completely getting caught unawares. Valenza's gonna go down. This means that the plant is very likely here for the T's. This could be extremely important for their economy. They've gotta be playing worst case scenario, get the plant, they're gonna get the plant, and now they've got a reasonable chance to do significant damage to the CTs and maybe even win the round. Gotta wonder what Valens was up to in that situation, but it's turned into quite a die one for his team despite getting a potentially, oh no, three frag, four frags, straight away from Lyman. Good work, boys. And it's gonna be the round for brain dead. And uh, yeah, I mean, not having any information about that push coming um, because they left, as you said, left balance there at the back of the bomb site. He's just running around um, instead of staying hidden. It's it's uh, got a got a question. What he looks like he was playing Super Mario Brothers because they didn't even have anyone close to the vent position. Usually, if you have one guy dedicated on B, you have guy in the vent to mid. They didn't have anyone like that, so it's uh, yeah, probably uh, some questions to be asked in that round, and we're gonna have a clean up here. It's Nylam are back on the eco, and they keep having this situation happen. They can never secure an economy. Always down to, to a situation where if they lose a round, they're back to the eco, and here it is once again, and brain dead this time, cleaning up quite well. All they have to do now is just converge together, move into a site, play the trade game with their advantages on the rifles, and the round will be over, and they'll be 13 to nine. And it's well, it's just two players left, so I, it's hard, I'm hard pressed to see a world where this is not a victory, this is round four brain dead. Indeed, so let's see if they continue together. There's one player going for the mid push, so it's going to be a two pronged assault. But that may mean that his rifle gets isolated. And again, this position so strong. We saw it earlier today in Europe, we saw it yesterday as well. With a 5 7 standing there, you can get so many kills. Hiko going absolutely bananas here on the A side, turned it into a one versus one. And now we uh, have the last player on A main left on three HP. He's oh. going to try and be sneaky, and that nade, Kobe! Taking the round for Brain Dead again. Yeah, you, you could tell that when he got tagged that low, the, gr the smoke grenade was there to, to try to help him get out of that spot because he knew the nade was coming. He knew that HE was coming, or that it was very likely, and there's just nothing he can do. So hopeless that position. We've got actually four players on 17 kills here for Nylon. So it's Sanks who's breaking, it's a combo breaker there. Sanks is the combo breaker. So Nylon going for the force. The lead is too great for Brain Dead now. And maybe Nylon wondering if they should have grasped more of those T rounds when they had the opportunity. Tempest pushing through the smoke, trying to get the work done with the 5-7. Double peak comes in, and he will be taken down. So that will give um, Braindeads a bit of an indication as to what Nyla are up to here. They see the 5-7, they'll probably think maybe there is a force buy on the cards here. Only one Nylon play spotted in mid, though, so they'll still have to identify if the Nylon players have opted to stack. Second player going down from max range in mid. So far, so good for Braindead. Nice. So, so Braindead have, have managed to mitigate any potential damage, really. It's just Welcome to who's died, but they've got the bomb site, and uh, Hiko's not really going to get much done from this position. So the issue here for, for Nylum as well is that they... Uh, look at the names, the names, just the names, the reputations we have on this team. They can't lose to Braindead, James. That would, that would be a huge blow to them, I think. It would be outrage and embarrassment, you might say. Yeah, no, but uh, it is a best of three after all, so yep. if they were to lose here, maybe they'll pull their socks up for game two. Maybe not. Semphis on the AWP. Let's have a look at the layout of Nylon. They've got one person mid, and Semphis going straight for an aggressive play. No smoking off the corner. He wants to find the frags, and the frags he will find. So that's the lurker towards B down. You can see good work boys rotating in that direction in case there's any aggression from the Nylam side. Tempest is holding a super tight angle now and uh, no smokes will be required. Good work boys ask questions and Tempest answers them in kind. Two men down now for Braindead. Yeah, this is what they needed, that AWP in play. It's on the B area this time, of course, uh, this could actually reposition later on if he wants to play. Uh, position, try to keep the mix-ups going, which can be very powerful. 
And uh, Brain Dead, I wouldn't be surprised to see an execute on any from them in the future, but for now it's going to be the play into middle, which is for free, as Nylam have given it up completely. They've got good control of the choke points though, so despite having this mid, they can't get out of connector into CT. They can't get up uh, the pirate area into the A site very easily. We've got a trade going in though to allow that to happen, but he goes here and he should surely get a couple kills, and indeed he's got the, uh, the cover from automatic and 14 to 10 will be the scoreline. So this is really good for Nihilim, and they, they should be able to pick up quite a few rounds in a row, you know, in theory right now, because Semphis is going to be pretty strong on these these uh, fine fine angles, as we've seen. Line with 10k, good work, boys, with 7. Will allow them to get all the AKs out for their team and keep the pressure piled on the economy of Nihilim. And we could see a B rush on our hands, and this could be perfect timing because there's only one person in the B bomb site. However, Automatic is now in the vent from mid, but if they cover their angles properly, they won't. So they're going to be taken down from the vent. Let's see what else they can do. Valen's in position now to try and hold things on the edge of the smoke. Going to be very sneaky indeed. Full rotation coming in from the CTs, but who is winning what here? We'll have to see if uh, we can actually make this into a bomb plant. We've got a two on two on our hands, and are there any HEs left? No, no grenades left here for Nylum. Kiko going to be able to pick up the kill there onto Lime. Good work, boys. Has left the on the site. That's very, very solid damage, but not enough to take down Hiko. And uh, yeah, I mean, th that's exactly what we're talking about. He Semphis able to mix it up and go to the A bomb site this time. Maybe anticipating, hey, if they, they're going to try to maybe focus more on A, but they might be thinking, all right, we've seen just one guy on B. It's just Semphis with the AWP. We, we, we can actually run into this, lose one guy, and then just rush him down, get the bomb down. So However, it was balanced. Brain did have a, just, uh, a decision to make, and the decision is pressure, pressure, pressure. So here they go again with the buy, causing considerable uh, purchasing from Nylum following that previous round. It's going to be a nice molly to just slow any boost coming in. And uh, Semp is going to take down good work, boys. Another early frag, just with brazen peaks towards B, towards A. That's going to put the. Uh, Fear into Brain Den. He's going to rotate his position once again, be the aggressive man just to pick off the bodies one by one. You can see Brain Dead with a bunch of flashes and a bunch of smokes. We'll have to see if they can bring any execute out of this. We haven't really seen that much just yet. Looks like we have a pop flash on the way. The open Sempus has been such a difference for them, and we can see how it's going to affect the A defense here. Infant Quad gets the second kill of the round as Hiko is in position the AK. They will line up for him. He will get only one, but Semphis has the cover. Now it's just welcome to and we will finish him off for the 4K. And uh, again, we might. this is, this is the, the power of having an AWPer who is mobile. You can move from position to position. The, uh, the players of the T side, they won't be necessarily expectant of it, where you're going to be playing from. They never know how to play against it. You can never count, you can never count it in to your strategy, exactly, like, to play against it when well, you don't know where it's going to be. So that's, pr that's a pretty difficult situation to be in. And uh, it's very powerful if you have an AWP that's very skilled at all positions, as Semphis appears to be so far. And they're on the eco now. So Nihilim, they are bringing the game back into their hands. We might just have a bit of a, a delayed B split action on our hands. But Nihilim have players in place to deal with this. Semphis with the AWP, but also, I believe, uh, automatic close range by events as well. Tempest misses the shot and now the pressure comes in. Automatic going down, so that's his uh, trader dead. Sank's caught in an awkward situation, but he will just about win that duel. Blend's being uh, pressured as well. Oh, that timing on that nade is going to get him two frags. Only Lam remaining. Picked up an M4, but his location is, as of yet, I think unknown. But Tempest's going to finish him off there with a uh, gun to the face. And uh, that was an eco from Brain Dead. A little bit of damage done there. It looks a bit chaotic. Now the pressure continues. For Nylon to defend it though, everyone's all over the place. There was a lot of uh, confusion. There was a lot of like, awkward shots. We saw a lot of them going quite low. It didn't look very calm and confident. Um, so I wonder if Brain Dead are going to find more edges with rushes like this against Nylon. Look at this position from Semphis. That is awesome there. That's actually quite risky as well, but he's going to make it work and. We're going to have Nylon with, again, having a man-up advantage right at the start just because of Semphis on the AWP. Yeah, they're just reading the uh, the weaknesses of the Brain Dead T approach here. They haven't really been going for fast challenges in the mid-area, so he's got the confidence that he's not going to get peaked from upper. He's just going to run in and, and uh, just hold the angle, then get the free frag as somebody walks into range. So Brain Dead need to switch up their approach here. 
Oh dear, Sanks, he didn't actually catch that guy. He's close to white box. Pop flash goes in. Sanks should know what this means, and indeed he will. It's uh, very easy, that experience uh, really paying off there for Sanks, but the trade will come in as he refaces for the frag onto Lime. And uh, well, now it's, it's uh, the vent room checkers area, which could be compromised, but Automatic's in position to stop that. And that is, of course, is very helpful because Valence is on the bomb site. And if Automatic can hold this position, keep it safe, then uh, Valence can be confident in uh, keeping his position safe. And nice little delay there before peeking out from Automatic, catching so save off guard. Valence in there behind the smoke. The smoke not perfect. The gap in the smoke, and that will be a very rough situation. Here. Lime going to go for the frag, gets it onto Valence, but he's alone now. Gets two players. He's got 24 health. 10 seconds to play with, and a bullet to the head, courtesy of Semphis. Alright, so everything being evened up now. And uh, we haven't really seen anything of note from either T side here, from Nylam or Braindead. But Braindead really need to bring something to the table here. Again, Semphis is being allowed to run Riot based on uh, reads from previous rounds, so they need to change up their approach, take Nylam by surprise, find an early frag of their own and play on it. And it looks like they're doing exactly that, heading all towards the B bomb site. That nade's going to do significant damage. Automatic coming in, going to run distraction as well and allow Valens to get the third frag. So, Braindead being torn apart here by Nylam in one of the uh, last rounds of the half, not finding a single frag. Now desperate times are ahead. Yeah, it's one of those spots where they're like, guys, what's, what's going to work at this point? Because everything that was working for them was when Semphis wasn't orping, essentially. And now Semphis has been all over the place, getting uh, fast picks when they go for the rushes. Now they're defending them well now. So it does. there's, there's nothing that Brenda have tried previously that will work now. They have to find something, a new approach, and find uh, something something there to, to exploit. And Semphis is now picking defensively from mid. And Valens will take the pick onto Lime there. Defensive frag coming in. Next player going to make himself known through the smoke. And Semphis picks up one in mid as well. You can only imagine that uh, this round should be closed out for the first map. After an item at this point, as it's just save left over. And Hiko is in a, a very monstrous position up here in this uh, boost spot. Save is going to walk in and uh, never knew what hit him. And that will be 16-14. And Nylum indeed do come back. And it, it felt like that should happen the entire time. Not to discredit uh, Brain Dead, but we have lots of skill on Nylum. We know what they're capable of. We just were waiting for that AWP to get into the hands of Semphis. We are waiting to have that full buy on them to see how their setup really works then. And we could see when they had a comfortable amount of money, it, it just kind of, the rounds flowed and they looked confident, so. Absolutely, on the, on the CT side, you know, when it yeah. came down to the business and they just about got there, but I think it was probably closer than they would have liked to have been uh, that round where there was only one person on B and they just got completely wiped out by the force by of the T's, you know, things like that, not going to be ideal. You lose the round, you lose your economy, blah, 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 blah. Their T side were, again, I, th I think it was, there was a lack of respect there. That's not a criticism, but I think, you know, it c they could have played a, a much stronger half. Um, well, at least I hope they could have. You know, I think they, it remains to be seen if they can actually do that on cash. Maybe they can show yeah. us on the second map. It's early days. Lots of new lineups, lots of new teams. Either way, guys, we have an Inferno coming up as map number two between Nihilim and Braindead. So stay tuned. We'll set that one up for you guys. We'll be back after the break.